Hello there, welcome back to my channel, Juella. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this is a boots haul, but it's mostly gonna be dominated by Soap and Glory products, which I absolutely love. So let's just get into it straight away. This is a lip balm and I've already opened it and I've got it on guys. I've got a little bit of lip gloss on as well, but this is the Pearly Shine Lip Balm by Nivea. Really reasonably priced. And it's like a kind of lovely pale shimmery pink colour. It smells nice as well. It smells like sherbet. I've literally been using this lip balm for years now. Don't know if you can see it on my hand. You probably can't because the ring light's not the best at showing you these things. But no, absolutely love the stuff. I got a couple as well because it was buy one get one half price. I should have really kept it for myself but instead I've put it in for a little birthday gift for my mum next month because I've got her a few bits and I just thought it would be an added little extra. Jesus, I hope my mum's not watching this because then, then she knows a little extra that she's getting. But anyway, it's really nice stuff. Really nice and moisturising, smells nice, even tastes nice and looks nice as well if you just like a little infusion of pinky colour to your lips that's a little bit shimmery. So I highly recommend this stuff and it's really reasonably priced as well at £2.50 or £2.99, something like that. So I really do recommend that. Then on the £10 Tuesday deal, I got the number seven intelligent colour foundation. You can get three different shades, light, medium and dark. And it's got like a clever technology in it where it adapts to your skin tone. So obviously if you've got fair skin, don't go by in the dark, otherwise you'll look like an umba lumper and it won't quite adapt to your skin tone. But yeah, it's an intelligent colour foundation. I've had this many times before. Full price, it's about 17 pounds, I want to say now. And this was obviously 10 pound on a Tuesday deal. I got the light shade. I've had this a good couple of times over the, over the past 10 or more years, and I do like it. Coverage wise, it's quite sheer. I personally don't like anything cakey. I do prefer like a BB cream effect. Although today, I've got Catrice foundation on, which is actually quite full coverage. Um, but still, yeah, I do like a nice sheer coverage as well. I think it's got a seal on. It has got a seal on, guys. But you know what? I'm going to open it because I'm going to be using it. I'll say I'm going to open it. I'll open it if I can get the little silver seal off, which, ah, yes, I can. And I just want to show you what it's like as well. So let's just wipe the lip balm off my hand. And so you can see what I mean by colour wise. So it's a decent little sized tube. Now I don't want to squirt too much out. But it looks like it's going to be quite dark when you first squirt it. But it's more like a BB cream. And remember this is the light colour as well. So you'll see that it's going to blend in and adapt to the colour of my hand. It doesn't smell of much. Hopefully my ring light will focus. Obviously I put it around this area on my hand. So hopefully you can see that. It's just a really good colour for me. It's a really good tone. Um, and it just feels nice. It feels nice and silky, nice and soft. Not something where you would particularly have to use a primer underneath. Because it does feel just really, really silky. It even feels a little bit silicony, dare I say. shouldn't really say that because it mightn't contain silicon. But anyway, it's a really nice foundation. I do recommend it if you prefer BB creams and you don't like anything too cakey or too sort of full coverage and you like something more sheer. It even states sheer coverage on the front. So yeah, I do recommend that foundation. I recommend number seven for a lot of things, to be honest, um, but in particular, the foundations. Definitely a win-win for me with those. Then I've got a couple of body sprays, guys. Now, these body sprays are usually $3.99 each. They are the Boots Essentials ones. And I got the White Musk, the Vanilla and the Peony. I got them for £2.66 each. They were on some kind of like rollback, a third off or whatever. Is that math? Is my maths right there? Probably not. But anyway, they were £2.66 instead of £3.99. So, like I say, we've got the White Musk, the Vanilla and the Peony. I did not need body sprays, but I've been wanting to try these for a while now, and seeing as they're on offer, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try them. But unlike most normal people out there, I tend to use body sprays as room sprays in my house, because my house always smells like garlic and always smells like cooking, because I'm usually always cooking. Anyway, let's give the white musk one a go. Give it a little sniff. Now that doesn't smell like your typical white musk. I wouldn't say it smells anything like the Body Shop white musk, 
nothing like it at all. It's quite a nice smell though, quite sweet and quite fresh. So I do like that one. The vanilla one, I know I really like. I love anything really sweet smelling. It's not too sweet. Kind of reminds us a little bit of ice cream, like vanilla ice cream. So yeah, I will definitely use that as a body and a room spray. But don't get confused, don't you? cannot use a room spray as a body spray. But you can use body sprays as room sprays. Anyway, then we've got the peony one, um, which I obviously hoped would be a nice light floral scent, which it is. It's actually quite fruity, floral and a little bit of fruity as well. So these three sprays, they are body sprays, but I'm going to be using them as room sprays which will seem a bit crazy and a bit crackers to some people, but that's just me, guys, a little bit crazy, a little bit crackers. So no, um, yeah, I'll be using them as room sprays because I've got a drawer full of body sprays. I really didn't need them. I just, I saw them, they were on offer and I really wanted to try them. So, like I was saying, I got a lot of Soap and Glory stuff. Now, I got the big pink tin. This was worth, I think, £70 or something and it was for £30. They do them a few times a year where they do these deals with a bag or a tin with loads of goodies in. And this is actually quite heavy, guys. So I'm going to go through the products I got with you inside the tin. And then I'll go through the products that I bought separately <coughs> as well as. As well as this big heavy tin. So the tin's really nice if you like pink. It's very Barbie-like, isn't it? Which is quite apt at the moment with the Barbie, Barbie movie that's out. Has anyone been to see it and what do they think? Um, I don't know if it's my type of movie, although I used to love Barbie dolls when I was younger. Definitely played with them all the time and cut a hair and put colour mousse on them. I was destined to work in the hair and beauty industry and that I did. Um, I used to think my Barbie's hair was going to grow back. It never did and I gave them the pop cuts and the bobs. Although the pop cut wasn't around then, I'm sure I invented it secretly because it was always longer at the front and shorter at the back. Um, but obviously the Spice Girls didn't exist when I had Barbie dolls. Anyway, right, let's just stop waffling. So some paper there in the top to protect everything. Now, I did get an item from Soap and Glory that was damaged and they did replace it. I got refunded and they replaced it as well, which was really good. Anyway, did they refund us? No, they didn't. They just replaced it, sorry. They replaced the item and the broken one because it had a broken lid, but it, it wasn't within this within this tin, it was separate. Um, I had just passed on to a friend of mine because I thought she could use it and I taped up the lid. Anyway, so, right, first item we have got. Soap and Glory Smoothie, Smoothie Star Fragrance Spritz and the size is 110 mils. Now, I wasn't sure what this was going to smell like, but I'm so pleasantly surprised. Like I say, I love Soap and Glory stuff. I love the smell of everything by them. Oh, it's really nice. It's sweet, it's fresh, it's girly, it's me. I absolutely love it. This I will use as a body spray and not as a room spray. Um, especially when I get out the bath or the shower on a morning or a night. Really nice on a morning, I would say, when you get out the shower, spritz your body with it. So that's the first product within the tin. The second product within the tin is the Real Zing Moisturising 2-in-1 Hand Sanitising Balm. And that's 100 mils. Now, I've never had this before. And I was thinking, oh, shall I keep this or shall I not? Oh, it's actually quite, quite slippy there, quite runny. And because it's a hand sanitizer, obviously you rub it into your hands and it kind of evaporates. It goes to nothing. Smell-wise, it smells divine. It smells beautiful. If you like a nice citrusy type smell, which it obviously is, it's quite lemony. But it's also a little bit like the sugar crush smell, but definitely very lemony. Just putting it all over my hands there. But it actually leaves your hands feeling nice with it being a two-in-one, two-in-one like a balm and also like a hand sanitising gel and it's quite runny so be careful when you open it it would go all over the place but it smells really citrusy and actually quite sweet so really like that wasn't sure if I was going to keep that one or pass it on but I will be keeping it because you, you can never have your hands too clean especially when I'm doing my artwork and stuff there's nothing worse than getting a fingerprint or something all over your paintings and pictures that you draw anyway right next we have got Call of Fruity Hydrating Hand Cream. I'm inundated with hand creams. So this I might give to somebody in a little bundle for Christmas or something. Um, is there a seal on it? There's not a seal on it, but I'm not going to squeeze any out. But I imagine it just smells like quite fruity. Does it say what fruits it smells of? I think it does. It's a blend of macadamia oil and marshmallow root extract. 
so that's probably really really nice and really hydrating um but yeah i've got loads of hand creams i can't warrant keeping that i can't validate keeping it so no i'm gonna pop that in a little bundle for one of my friends for christmas maybe then this is something i've wanted to try for a while this is the melty talented and it is the dry skin balm which is in a nice little tin love the look of that it reminds me of the old tins of shoe polish does anyone else remember old tins of shoe polish i remember doing my school shoes and my work shoes and stuff anyway hopefully it doesn't smell like shoe polish although shoe polish doesn't smell that bad does it actually got quite a nice smell anyway right hasn't got a lot of smell i'll be honest with you it's just like a kind of peachy colored balm hasn't got a lot of smell but let's give it a go feels like something that goes to like an oiliness on your skin i'm just gonna put a little bit over my knuckles there because my knuckles get a bit dry a little bit of a citrusy smell just an ever so slight i don't know if it's just that there's that many sprays kicking around this room that i can't smell it very possibly nostrils probably aren't working the best <laughs> But yeah, really, really looking forward to trying that, especially on my elbows and my knees. I get very dry legs, like very dry skin on my legs, especially my knees. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be great for my knees and my elbows. But I believe it's also like a multi-purpose. You can use it on your cuticles. You can use it on the ends of your hair. You can use it as a lip balm as well in your elbows and your knees. So yeah, really, really thrilled to get that product. So that's that then we have got the soap and glory parch enemy hydrating jelly mask that looks really cool i've never had that so i'd definitely be keeping it definitely be using it i don't know if there's like is it for your face or is it for your body i think it's for your face i think you leave it on for like 15 minutes maybe and then you probably wash it off with water it's got vitamin b5 and hyaluronic acid so yeah a re really good like hydrating glass of water for your skin basically same as any kind of hyaluronic acid serum which i use every day um which is a nice glass of water for the skin probably why it's called parch enemy as in your parched glass of water for your skin so yeah i'll definitely look forward to trying that out um i'm not going to open it because once i open it it's going to need used and i don't know when i'm going to get around to using it guys but i promise i'm going to use it then we have got the Magnifico Body Lotion. This is the Nourishing Body Lotion. And look at the size of it. 500 mils. That body lotion is friggin' huge. It's massive. But I'm so thrilled to get it because I haven't smelt this range before, the Magnifico. So, yeah, let's give it a go. I've obviously just unscrewed it. I'm not going to pump it down because I don't, wanna, don't know if I want to use it yet. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really nice. Do you know what it reminds us of? I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. Just a little bit off the, off the little squirty down thing. It reminds us a little bit of pina colada. Just a little bit. Definitely reminds us of pina colada. Quite sweet. Quite pineapple-y. And coconut, obviously. That's really, really nice. And I've um, just got it all over the, the lid there. So let's just rub it into my hands while I'm at it. My hands are going to smell very tropical by the end of the day. So yeah, that's lovely. It's not a really strong smell. It's actually quite subtle, but really, really beautiful. And yeah, not too greasy. I don't like anything too greasy when it comes to body lotions. So yeah, really looking forward to trying that. I've got enough blooming body creams and shower gels to sink a freight. Just sink a ship, I really have. There's a freight ship there, but yeah, you know what I mean. Then we've got the Clean On Me Body Wash. This is one of the most popular body washes, guys, and it's really, really nice. This is just like a little clippy top as opposed to a pump bottle. Oh, absolutely love the stuff. It smells gorgeous. It's just really fresh, really fruity, really girly. Really, really nice. So thrilled to have another one of those because I have got through quite a few over the years. Then this product, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. This is the Simply the Boost Body Yogurt. So this is like a kind of fruity boggy, fruity boggy, fruity body yogurt. Getting all tongue tied. And then we've got the Cola Fruity Hand Cream. I think they'll make a nice duo for a Christmas present for someone. So I'm not going to open them, guys. I haven't opened it and I'm not going to. I just hope it's all right inside. Um, it says that it's scented with grapefruit and rhubarb. So that'll be really, really nice for someone for Christmas. Don't know who yet, so don't pay too much attention, my lovely friends and family, if you're watching this, because you might get those for Christmas as a little stocking filler. 
anyway so the last product we've got a little hair scrunchie and it just reminds me of like candy stripe pink and white candy stripe hair scrunchie so yeah that will not come in wrong just to like pop my hair back when I'm going in the bath or whatever or putting a face mask on stuff like that so then a lovely hair scrunchie so that was everything out of the tin and that was everything for 30 pounds in that tin absolute bargain because it's worth about 65 if you were to buy these things separately it would cost you about 65 pounds so excuse the noise now guys as i put everything away um but yeah 30 pounds thrilled obviously two items i'm going to pass on but i don't see that as a waste of money because i'm not going to use them myself i see it as something very savvy to do to pass things on for christmas or birthday gifts to a loved one or a friend or a colleague or whatever so like i say i did buy some extra bits and bobs all soap and glory honestly anyone would think i'm bloody going nuts for this stuff whenever i get a delivery now my husband always says more soap more shower gel julie and i'm like yes cough cough or, or i'm like no no it's it's shampoo it's it's uh, it's foot cream it's something different but no it's always body wash and stuff so this is the item that i got that was damaged but the lid was all cracked and the scent is a replacement and i gave the other one to my friend but there was some missing but i was like you can have it if you want it because I don't, I don't need two so anyway this is the sugar crush body scrub and it smells amazing it's so zingy so limey so sweet and citrusy but so so nice it literally smells like lime jelly but like sweet lime jelly nutty sweet lime jelly it smells gorgeous anyway it's actually a really nice body scrub it's a sugar body scrub obviously some people use different types of body scrubs but this is a sugar one really good for exfoliating especially on your legs and your arms so yeah but when you're in the bath and you use it in a bath when you're sitting in the bath after you've used it it feels like you're rubbing your bum on sandpaper but um it's not too brutal it's not too harsh and if anything it might make your bum a little bit smoother although i've got really smooth skin on my bum my husband always says he loves the feel of the skin on me bum. Anyway, anyway, TMI there, guys. But you know what I'm like, very unfiltered. So we've got the body scrub, the sugar crush one. We've got the Magnifico Go body wash. As you saw, I've got the body lotion within the tin. So I thought, I want to try the body wash as well. Obviously, I knew what was coming in the tin, but I wanted to try the body wash. Ah, it smells lovely quite subtle it's not strong so if you don't like anything that you use that's too strong smelling then you might like that one the magnifico Coco, because it's actually quite subtle obviously coconutty and kind of like a pina colada but it's not too coconutty if you don't actually like coconut you still might like that if anything it's just a bit like a pina colada then we've got the perfect zen calming bath milk this is actually a little bit battered but the water wasn't broken or anything so i wasn't going to complain just needs a little bit of a little bit of air putting into it and i'm sure it'll pop back out anyway so this is a bath milk that's beautiful it's got like a lavender scent like a creamy lavender and i nearly just squirted it all over my nose there if i'd have squeezed that any tighter i think it would have went all over my face which would have looked fantastic one for the blooper show anyway smells like lavender creamy lavender i love anything like that and for me i've got like quite a big bathtub and I've been using the Avon bubble, bubble baths recently and I use half a bottle when I go in and you might think oh Julie that's dead wasteful like one bottle does us two baths but it's not guys because it was only like £1.50 a bottle and that's like 75 pence a bath that's nothing when you compare it to how much you'll spend on like a lush bath bomb for like a fiver for one bath versus 75 pence I know which one I'd be buying although I do like lush bath bombs and I've been using them recently as well. Anyway, so no, let's get back to this. Perfect Zen Calm and Bath Milk. Really love the smell of that. Then, of course, I had to get the Sugar Crush Body Wash. Because I had the body scrub, I had to get the body wash. And I love the smell of it. It's just literally like limes in a bottle. Really nice, juicy, fruity limes. It just smells beautiful. Honest to God, it just smells so, so nice. I highly recommend it but I highly recommend all of the soap and glory stuff I just think it's lovely price wise you cannot go wrong it's just really nice the final product we have got some basically dry shampoo this is dry shampoo from soap and glory I've never tried this one this is the secret sensational rush over dry shampoo I think that says anyway it's just a bottle of dry shampoo guys 
I've just washed my hair so I don't need to use it but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine if you've used it whack in the comments what you think when it comes to dry shampoo I tend to use Batiste I don't use them very often but when I do it's usually Batiste but I thought I would give the soap and glory one a go because it was only £2.65 I want to say because it was on offer it was like a third off which I must say when I bought the separate items here they were like on some kind of rollback where it was like a third off or something like that and also you got a free a free a free little goodie set which was a lip balm and a hand cream if you spent over 20 pound on certain selected products which i did and i got the freebie and i don't know what i've done with the freebie i know i wasn't keeping it for myself i think i'll put it away to pass on to someone as like a little a little stock and filler present for christmas um but yeah i got a little freebie as well and you just can't say no to a freebie can you or at least i don't anyway so yeah that's everything guys and i just wanted to share them with you because i absolutely love soap and glory this is not affiliated at all i don't get pr from boots i bloody wish i did but i don't i spend enough money with them and next i've got to show you a super drug haul at least i think it was super drug it was either super drug or save as i cannot bloody remember now i think it was super drug in fact i know it was super drug because it's something i've just remembered i got in it anyway i'm completely waffling guys let me know in the comments your favourite Soap and Glory product if you like Soap and Glory. If you've never tried Soap and Glory, do the, any of these kind of scents interest you? Um, but I do highly recommend them. I think they're beautiful. I think they're really nice, really semi-affordable as well, if not fully affordable. Especially when they're on offers like, you know, getting a tin for £30 and a third off stuff. Definitely my kind of jam. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry this video is a bit of a long one, but you know I'm a bit of a chatterbox. Anyway, take care now. Bye-bye.